welcome back to another week on the vlog and when there's one problem there's always more to follow so we had brakes the other week uh, brake discs cracked now this week so I left the Radfords uh, the Roman Radfords on Friday left their driveway parked up went in the back of the hab and turned, went to turn my electrics on uh, what do I want to turn it on? Oh, the, the Max fan. And it turned on and then it turned off. <laughs> Power died. So I thought, ah, oh, fuse is gone. Now, a fuse had been popping for a couple of days before. It, it only popped um, when I was driving, which means, well, I thought it could be something to do with the vehicle, um, which I'd done a few tests, like running, turning this on, turning that on, um, didn't do it. So it must be a loose connection somewhere. The weird part of it is, it's only the old hab stuff that won't turn on so all the original lights all the the water pump the water heater or the, like to light the oven uh, is it the pez pezo pez pez uh, uh, click 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 that <laughs> um so none of it works so all the stuff has been added does still work I've replaced this fuse i found a blown fuse under the bonnet Replace that and still nothing. So I am at a loss, a complete utter loss. Now, when I started messing around with this, it was Friday and it was about five o'clock in the evening and I had work that night, so I had to go to bed. And it was blooming warm, so I slept down here. Um, I had a couple of little fans with the power oak um, and I pulled the fuse out of the, uh, out the the, the battery on the floor because that was the one that popped and I didn't want it popping or smoking or you, I've had history with that before and I was, didn't want any of that whilst I slept I don't fancy cooking like a, a little roast picky not today thank you so I gave the fourth emergency service a call Gadget John uh, explained the situation he uh, told me to check a few things so I've done that I've checked like the uh, if there's an RDC switch or the fuse block uh, see if they've tripped they haven't um, tripped them down tripped them back up um, fiddled around the max fan jiggled some wires nothing um, nothing was loose or anything nothing me jiggling didn't then turn it on I, uh, I undone this and pulled this out because obviously this is on the vehicle uh, the leisure system right now but it, nothing works so that's meant to make a light here to say that the pumps now on it doesn't but this does oh no that don't because but this one when the fuse is in this does work but everything else doesn't I'm not sure what that means it's, it's monday morning now i'm gonna meet gadget john and mandy um in a pub car park um and he's gonna help me go through it because i am I'm at a loss. So what I've just spent the time doing before they arrive is literally stuffing everything. Who's up there? My computer stuff, my camera stuff, all the sofa cushions, um, God knows what else. So when Gadget John arrives, you've just got to pull up them sofas and all the batteries are there. And then I've emptied this so we can get access to all the wires under here. And here's the fuse. So this side is all hab, old hab. And this side, from the last incident, and this side's all new stuff. So, I ain't got a clue. All good fun though, isn't it? All good fun. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure we'll get through it. I have to, I need power. I need power. My Max fan don't work. <laughs> Maybe. John. <laughs> Mandy. And <Hey>, Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Get yourself. <laughs> yeah, me! <I> need to <laughs> so there we are, parked up over the back there, and we are at the Crooked Chimney. Yay! And the one that got warm is the purple one. Uh, that one, yeah. Third one up. Yeah, that one. I'm sure it's that one. Which is a purple, which goes under, and I think that goes to a water heater or something, or a water pump. Electrics, I hate electrics. No power right there now, so whatever. So there's a break somewhere before it gets there. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. And you've got the fuse in the fuses in the floor. That's the only cable. It's connecting it back to the what to the earth. To 
to the original to, wiring. Onto, that mm. tiny one there. Oh god. But yeah, they've not mounted the earth point there. And the positive that is mounted there. Mm. That goes to that, which I'm guessing is your relay for your charge. I have no idea. Well that's your battery charge, so when you plugged in on mains. Right. That's charging that. And that looks like because it's 30 amp, that looks like it's going to be from your engine. Right, the charge control, the yeah. split charge. I suppose that can all be ripped out at another date. Yeah, and if and we want, you can stern, pop up a B2B. Yeah, still. The sterling in. can go in. Yeah. And then that will actually give me something to actually write home about. Yeah. Look at me, write home about. Do you still write? Yeah, I've got a pet notepad right back there. What'd you write? Love letters. Pet <laughs> <laughs> too. <laughs> Chocolate factories, <laughs> and bacon factories, and chicken wing factories. Please send freebies. Yeah. Seriously, sir, seriously, uh, please send freebies. Dear sir, I tried your product today. I was not overwhelmed. <laughs> if you could send me another 38 kilos <laughs> so I can review it, I'll let you know. Seriously, send bacon, send wings, <laughs> send cheese. Send it now. <laughs> Wasting away. Okay, so. It's all fixed. Temporary fix for now. Right, it's fixed. So we've got I've got a breaker switch here. So if I need to, I can just switch it off, press the button. It will sh it will switch because there was no power coming to this side. The power was coming from this um, relay, which has then melted, as you can see. Got a nice new one, but it's not really fitting in there because it's melted so much. Anyway, long and short of it is, that is giving me power from the vehicle, so it tops up, but it was going into that side, I don't know why, but the, um, and that was what the fuse under the floor was, uh, why it was popping, uh, so we fixed, took, uh, bypassed that with, there with the breaker, so it is safe, and then... We've not put that one back because I've got enough solar. I don't need to get charged the vehicle from the alternator. Um, we're going to wait and we're going to do a proper job and put the sterling in so that can do one. <laughs> we don't need that. This fuse here, the third one in, was um, popping and it was a purple wire which went down under here to the water pump. So we pulled the water, the cable out thinking it was shorting on the pump like the pump had seized or something but it hadn't it still popped again we tested it quite a few times all busted fuses so that means what we, we then made our own cable put a new cable on here and run it to the water pump so now then we turn it all on and it all works the only things that don't work which must have been on that purple wire is the battery uh, thing doesn't work because that was coming off of off of there from them wires they go straight to that battery now the water doesn't work and the light for the pump so the pump is on right now and the light's normally on here but it's not on. that'll get looked at another time um, there's we've had a look at other bits uh, looked at the batteries uh, under the under the sofa how they're all wired and without going into details right now because things ain't going to get changed now they're safe but they're not 100 percent kosher things are going to need to be altered um so me and john are gonna have to work out a time and a place to figure things out um and then make some changes and put a sterling in and just fix all the other little bits and bobs so yeah so there's been some poor wiring done overall um which is a bit of a shame because I paid some pretty hefty money for that really for things to be done but you live and you learn you know, you, you only um, there isn't any mistakes or anything if you learn something from it you know it's just a it's just a just a price on a it's just a price on a lesson so as long as you treat it like that and then you learn from that you ain't lost nothing really I have learned that from this and from previous electrical issues that I really do want to that on the next motorhome I do you know being a year's time five years time I want to do it with John um, set the whole system up so I know the system inside and out um, do it 
do it right, do it once, and do it well so I know and label every single wire. I know what the system, I can write the system down, I know where every wire goes to, and apart from the ones that are in the walls, obviously you can't do that. That's just, you know, that's crazy talk. But I just want to get to know my electrical system more so I'm not left in a vulnerable position like now, like I was, um, and without friends like John, I would have been destined to go and find some help from a garage or from a motorhome place somewhere and in their hands and they could have li li dropped a bill on my lap for pretty much anything and I'd have just paid it because I don't know, I w I'm not sure what happens and I don't want to make things bad, I don't know where to start so I need to learn electrics a lot more. Things are running again, they're safe, we know what the crack is so I'm good to go just in the coming months I'll sort them other bits out with John and then we'll uh, do a video at that time for them. But I have power, I have my water pump working, got the max fan working, lights work, woohoo, we are back on the road baby. Now, something uh, I didn't tell you guys, uh, oh, last week my fridge, st yeah, I told you this is a, it's just like event after event, drama after drama, my fridge wasn't getting as cold as it should as it has before so we'll see what happens tomorrow we'll go there hopefully we we'll get that fixed and then get that done electrics are done they're working thank you very much john welcome, i can't see that you're welcome mate <laughs> i haven't got flippy cameras Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. So, stayed at the Crooked Chimney last night, met up with John, Mandy and Mevy. John helped me with the electrics, all sorted, 100%. We've got some more to do in the future, but for now they are good to go, safe and working. That is what matters. So yeah, cheers John. One of the main reasons we came here, because me and John, and Mandy came here when um, the pubs weren't allowed to open and we parked in the car park. We spoke to the, uh, the manager, uh, manager owner, I think his name is Martin, and he was fine for us to stay here um, for a night or two, even though they weren't open. He yeah, gave us no bother, he said, yep, you're more than welcome to stay. Um, even said, if you want to move closer, you can get the Wi-Fi from the, from the pub. Um, which is really kind of him, thanks Martin. Um, so, you know, you gotta pay it back, and you? You know, so when I said, oh, John, I need to meet up, um, and they said, I was ringing for on Monday, um, cool, should we meet at the Crooked Chimney? Because then we can go in, because now, now they're now open. They've got all social distancing rules. They've got all the sanitizers and everything. And then we went in, we had lunch, we had loads of drinks, desserts, um, and then, Later in the evening, we had a, went in for another, had a, had a uh, had a drink, and then yeah, went back to the van. So we paid them back, um, which is what what it's about, really, isn't it? You know, they helped us uh, at one point, so we can help them, and we can you know we love going in pubs and buying food and beer and drinks. I had a Pepsi Max. <laughs> they sell Pepsi Max. So get in there, definitely. Not none of that Coke. Uh, but yeah, great, great people in there, great staff, and uh, really friendly. So if you're in the area in Hertfordshire, um, near Hatfield, and you're, if you're passing the Crooked Chimney, then definitely stop in and say hi. They're a great bunch of people. Cheers, guys. Uh, I'm going to leave these guys. It's quarter past seven. I've got to drive to St Albans, uh, St Albans to go to a uh, a guy that can fi fix my fridge. Um, he's a fridge fridge engineer. I don't know. He's a fridge engineer, but he's a he does all caravans and motorhomes, hab checks, mobile mobile stuff that needs doing on on any of the mobile uh, caravans and motorhomes. So I need to go there now. Um, I'm going to his driveway because he's going to fit me in. Um, it's kind of a like squeeze me in because I really need a fridge working. But he's got to pull pull it out because there's no rear access. So he's going to pull it all out, um, check the burners, maybe give it a clean. Maybe that's all it needs. 
I have no idea. But I'll sit at the back and have a chat with him and then uh, film some bits. And uh, hopefully, it only takes a couple of hours. And then we then I'll go find a park up because I'm back to work tonight. What an eventful one day off. <laughs> So currently we're having trouble getting the fridge out. Someone's taken it out in the previous life before I had it and they put a screw in at an angle and a dig different screw. The little bastard don't want to come out. Um, obviously it's holding onto the wood um, and yeah, difficulty undoing it. So we're going to have to look at other measures to try and get the little thing out now. Never goes easy. <laughs> Easy success. That little bastard. That right, that right there is the screw that got to get hacksawed off. That's the tip. To come out of there. So there's a little little graze. But you won't see that because of the fridge going back. I'm no expert, you lot know that, but use the right screws, people. Don't lose them. And, you know, seriously, if you've got, if you've only got three, I've already said, said to the guy, if you only had three, that would have been better than putting a dodgy one in. Look at that, all nice and shiny. Beautiful. See, I'm a proper amateur YouTuber. I should have taken a picture of the flame before. <laughs> but as you can see, nice, nice flame. Right, all done. Fridge is back in. It's now chilling down. Bacon's safe and chicken wings are safe. I'll let you. T I'll let him tell you what he does. I'm called MCE Hearts. Yep. Um, I do all types of caravan repairs and maintenance and. And motorhomes, motorhomes, um, I fit motor movers, gas okay, yeah. tanks, all of the stuff. And what area is it? I uh, cover basically Hertfordshire. Hertfordshire. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've got I've got the details and that, so I'll put that on the on the screen now. And then uh, yeah, if you need anything, then go give Wayne a call. Take it easy, guys. All right. <laughs> Thank you.